So my formal name is Christina Marie Michaels. Marie is my mother's middle name and my grandmother's first name. Michaels is my last name. I started dancing when I was 11. Actually, before that, I went into creative movement when I was like eight um, and had a blast. And then started really getting into it by the age of 12. And I was doing it full time at 12. And went up to Seattle and got accepted into the Pacific Northwest Ballet School. I just went up there and I thought I was the shit. I always thought I was the schnizzle. I really thought I liked it. I got a resume, I could dance, and I was stuck in the intermediate level. So I danced there for a year, launched myself up to the advanced level. At that point, we started doing like, I was doing shows. Um, show after show after show, um, standing in the back, mobile prop for a while. <laughs> danced with them for five years, and I got in their company as an apprentice um, by the third year I was there. One of those years I got accepted to School of American Ballet at Juilliard um, on scholarship with stipend, so I actually got spending money. Then they uh, invited me back to stay the following year, um, but I, they thought I was too fat, so they didn't want me to stay there um, for the year. My body was trashed um, from dancing this technique, the American technique. So I um, started training under another man, um, male teacher, for a while, and he saved my knees. Um, and so with that technique, I actually got into the National Ballet of Canada because it was a much more refined technique than the American style. Um, the director wanted a lot of, um, sexual favors and I chose not to do that so I left that company I ended up moving back to I moved down to Richmond Virginia I got into the Richmond Ballet <clears throat> danced there for three years I had my third surgery there um, first surgery was a neuroma out of my left foot then a bone spur out of my left ankle and then a neuroma out of my right foot my body was beaten really up and so I stopped <clears throat> dancing and I went into something that I loved doing, which was massage because it felt so good and I knew I could do good for people. So I actually did massage for um, 15 years. And then I went into Active Marshall College. I came back out home to Colorado where I grew up. Um, and that's where I ran into LDT. So Longmont Dance Theater, Centennial State Ballet um, is a nonprofit youth um, dance organization. Okay, so I know at eight I was a woman okay um i have a picture i know under the age of eight but um i have a, a firm picture of me wearing this beautiful sweater my mother got let me get and it was the most coolest girl sweater i'd ever gotten so i hid um i whenever i had an, um enough money i'd live on my own and i'd always have like stashes of my girl clothes in boxes hidden um and then I met my wife at the time and she sort of knew, but she didn't want to accept it. So I just thought, you know, my dance career just allowed me to um, hide it really well. It's, it's as patriarchal as, it is, it is the epitome of a patriarchal art form. It is the epitome of a patriarchal art form. Because every other art form, every freaking other art form, it allows some sort of expressionism in any way, even music. Classical music still allows some sort of expansiveness of the way the flute is played or the oboe is allowed to be, but it's the epitome of the binary. I know I'm, I'm an enigma in the teaching industry. Um, I think what I like the most is, um, if I could say there was anything, is when I teach the younger children and they see me and I go, my pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm Chrissy or Christina. They have to do a double take and almost every time they do a double take, they're more warmer and welcoming to me. Um, and I've seen a lot of young non-binary children come in questioning their gender. And what I love is that I can be there as um, the role model that I want.